Hello, my name is Haley. For those of you who don't know me, Ronan was one of my best friends, and I was one of his. My mom says we've known the Shimizus and Ronan since he was born, but I'm only 13, so I can only remember the past 11 years. I have spent a lot of time with Ronan and have some great memories, from Halloweens to shopping trips, from Rain World and Sunsplash, and lots of celebrations. But it is Ronan's personality that made these great memories. One time, my family and I were going to meet up with Javi and the Shimizus at Sunsplash. When we got there, it started to rain rain and sunsplash closed, so we decided to go to islands instead and hang out there. When we got to the restaurant, Ronan, Javi, and I started taking funny pictures, and then Ronan made a super funny and weird video which made us laugh for a really long time. Even though we were disappointed that we couldn't go to sunsplash, it was a very fun day because Ronan made it fun. Ronan was an amazing, kind, and caring person who would do anything for you. His specialty was making you laugh and smile. Ronan always knew how to make someone laugh or bring a huge smile to your face with his crazy personality. Not only did he have these amazing qualities, he was also very creative. He always told me one day he'd make my wedding dress. <laughs> and I have. And I have no doubt that it would have been one of the most incredible dress anyone has ever seen. But the world won't get to see it now, and I won't get to see it. Life without him will not be the same. I won't get to see his smile or have him cheer me up with his jokes. I won't get to wear that amazing wedding dress. And he won't be there anymore with me at Sunsplash pretending to be my brother so guys wouldn't talk to me. Okay, well maybe the last one's not such a bad idea, but I am going to miss it. Even though he is not physically here with me, I have not lost him though. He has and always be in my heart. I would like to leave you with some quotes. It is not what you say, but what is heard. It is not what you show, but what is seen. It is not what you mean, but what is understood. Perception equals reality. Gandhi once said, be the change you wish to see in the world. I plan to be the change, and I hope you all will too. We all loved Ronan a lot, but God loved him more. I love you, Ronan. Ronan Shimizu was born on June 10th, 2002. He was given the name Ronan as a way to pay tribute to his Japanese ancestry. At an early age, Ronan's affinity for creativity and the love of the arts became very apparent. Whether it be drawing, painting, fashion design, dance, or architectural design. He loved to use his innovative and creative spirit to make great things. Following in his father's footsteps, he also loved any gadget new and old, especially electronics. As a toddler, he would often keep his treasured gizmos and countless trinkets, trinkets safe in the stylish purses that he would often come into from Danielle or his Nana. As he grew up, his love for gadgets never faded, but the purse turned into a satchel, some of it which he would create on his own by using scraps of fabric, glue, strings, buttons, glitter, and whatever else he could find to personalize his creation. Ronan's love for the arts and fashion continued to grow with him. At the age of seven, he received his first dress form from his papa, who is also a tailor. Using his newly acquired dress form, along with strapped scraps of fabric and beads, he designed his first dress without even needing a pattern. 
Many times, his parents, family, and friends would just be amazed by his creations. Most of the time, with Danielle saying at the end, hey, wait a minute, is that my shirt? Well, when an artist sees a canvas, he must create. Some of his most recent creations included a jacket made out of an old pair of shorts from his brother. And it was for his dog Sparky and a Scotty dog wool pillow made from a piece of a blanket for his cat Ashley. Ronan's love for fashion was equally matched by his love for shopping. He could spend the entire day hanging out at the mall or the Palladio with his mom or close friends. Ronan had a very keen eye for fashion and would help Danielle and family members and his friends put together very smart outfits. He was never afraid to give his honest opinion about how a piece of jewelry or an outfit looked on you. Most recently, arguing with Danielle on how leggings are not pants. <laughs> Ronan's love of the arts led him to the theater where at the age of 10, he played a supporting role in the El Dorado Music the Theater's production, Alice in Wonderland. Ronan continued to explore his theatrical experience by taking tap da dancing lessons through the Sutter Street Theater. People who were close to Ronan knew that his favorite holidays were Halloween, Christmas, and the 4th of July. Actually, he loved any opportunity to get people together. Every Halloween, he and Brandon would express their creative differences on how the front yard should be decorated. But regardless of their differences, Brandon would always look to Ronan for a final seal of approval on how the decorations looked. At Christmas, Ronan loved to decorate the Christmas tree. When Ronan was about five years old, he would feel that his parents were taking too long bringing the ornaments down. So he would take it upon himself to decorate the whole tree with matchbox cars. From that point on, he was in charge of decorating the tree. Even when his parents tried to help him arrange the ornaments, they would always wind up where Ronan wanted them. The last three years, he was the only one to decorate the tree and put a beautiful display of ornaments together. Last year, since the icicles were not promptly displayed outside of the house on time, Ronan created a winter wonderland in the hallway that he and his brother could enjoy. But then there's the 4th of July, where Ronan would somehow persuade Brandon to buy more fireworks than their budget allowed. Of course, they put on some of the best neighborhood shows, and Ronan loved it. Early on in life, Ronan discovered he was very flexible and loved to do the splits and cartwheels. From there, he started doing tumbling and gymnastics, which eventually led him to try out for the cheer squad, where he became the first male cheerleader for the Vista Junior Eagles. He really enjoyed showcasing his talents and being a part of that cheer team. While doing cheer, he continued his active involvement in Pac-386 of the Cub Scouts, where he started as a Tiger Cub and finished as a senior Weeblo. Following the Cub Scouts, Ronan crossed over with his arrow of light to Troop 134 of the Boy Scouts. Ronan loved being a Boy Scout. He especially loved all of the camping trips, with this last summer's trip to Yosemite being his favorite. Although Ronan, Ronan I'm sorry, was a bit of a germaphobe, camping was one of the only activities where he didn't mind going days without a shower or his hand sanitizer, and coming home with hair and feet covered in dirt. Ronan always loved camping from an early age, and when he, Ryden, and Brandon used to go camping on the coast. Most recently, Ronan got to experience glamping. When he got to stay in the RV of some family friends, which was a whole lot better than a tent and a sleeping bag. His idea of camping was forever changed after that experience. 
Not only did Ronan like to camp, but he enjoyed other act outdoor activities, including kayaking, canoeing, and fishing. He, Ryden, and Brandon would make many trips to the local lakes and often brag about catching their first or most or even if they were just bluegills. Most recently, Ronan was a part of the Upper Natoma Rowing Club. He was the youngest and smallest member of the team and he was training to be a coxswain. He absolutely loved being a part of the UN RC team and was always excited to go to practice. He absolutely loved being a part of the UN RC team and was excited to go to practice. I think I just said that. He would always have his gear ready at least a half hour before it was time to leave for practice and always wanted to be the first one there because he wanted to show dedication to the team. While on the team, he was given the nickname Rojo. And having that name really made him feel that he was a part of that team. At the first and only rowing event he attended, at head of the lagoon, Ronan loved the experience of traveling out of town, staying in a hotel, hanging out, and cheering on his teammates. Ronan was what we like to call an old soul. He was wise beyond his years. He could relate remarkably well with many people years older than himself. His parents would often be told by others how eloquently he could speak for a child, and they were often amazed at his use of words. However, with that eloquence, he had the sass to match. Ronan was perhaps one of the most social kids out there. His parents often referred to him as a social butterfly. He was never afraid to meet new people and make friends. Ronan was also one of the most helpful kids around. He was the little helper who would carry bags for people without being asked. He would push his Nana's grocery cart and was always willing to lend a hand. His willingness to help made him the best Lego builder for Raiden. Anytime his brother couldn't figure out how to put the Lego pieces together, Ronan was always there to help him finish the job. Ronan was a great big brother. During cold and rainy days, he would create tents and forts inside the house for him and Ryden to play in. Ronan also helped Ryden learn how to ride a bike. After Ryden became frustrated with his mom trying to help him learn, Ronan stepped in and calmed Ryden's nerves enough to try again, this time with his big brother by his side. He was the one to even take the training wheels off of Ryden's bike so that he could learn how to ride on two wheels. Those two boys were partners in crime. Often venturing out to the creek near the house or to their secret tree fort up the hills. However, their excursions up to the tree fort ended abruptly last summer when the ladder broke. Stranding them in the tree and then Brandon had to go get them down. Like all brothers, Ronan and Ryden had their moments, but Ronan was a great big brother and would do anything for Ryden. Although his time with us was ever so short, he touched our hearts and he made an everlasting impression on so many. He always gave us the best hugs and his smile would light up a whole room. Ronan will always be remembered for being a loving, sensitive, smart, compassionate, and empathetic person who always followed his heart. Ronin translates literally in Japanese to wave man because a masterless samurai travels the lands like a wave travels the ocean. Ronin, our wave man, has been making waves for 12 years and will continue making more waves for many years to come. My name is Kevin Kent, and I'm the middle school youth pastor here at Lakeside. I love working with middle schoolers. 
They seem to have the ability to live big lives, to have a lot of fun. And if you give them the chance, they will undoubtedly surprise you. I think, I think we saw that as Robin read Ronan's story. But I also know that middle school is one of the hardest times to go through in someone's life. I know for me, I, I want to be someone who can help, someone who cares, someone who can show hope. I've done this for about 12 years and I've met a lot of students and I don't remember every encounter, but I do remember the time I met Ronan. I got to meet him at a swim party this last summer. I remember him smiling, I remember him happy, I remember him having fun. And I remember the time that I got the call and heard the news of Ronan's passing. I was sitting on my couch and I remember how my heart sank. There are times that stick with us and times that shape us. Times we don't want to forget and times that we can't seem to be able to let go. In the Bible, in the book of Ecclesiastes, in chapter 3, it talks about time and it says this. It says, there is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. In verse 4, it says, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance. I think today in this time, that is appropriate. It's appropriate to mourn. It's good to be able to laugh. It's appropriate to weep as we remember and to dance as we celebrate his life. It continues in verse 5. It says it's, there's a time to scatter stones and a time to gather them, a time to embrace and a time to refrain, a time to search and a time to lose, a time to keep and a time to throw away, a time to tear and a time to mend, a time to be silent and a time to speak. I'm sure that we have times that we remember with Ronan that we wish could have been a little bit different. Maybe we wish we could have said something different or done something different. I don't know if you remember things that you said or perhaps things that you, you didn't say and you wish you could have said in the moment. Maybe you think, if only I could have been there at that time with him, or if only I could have done this. I know we all wish we could have had more time. And a lot of us, when we think about it, are left asking why. And we're holding on to the if-onlys. I want to tell you, if, if you're struggling to make sense of all of this, if you need help, I want you to know that we are here for you. I want you to know that you are always welcome here at Lakeside. And if you want to talk afterwards, we're available for you. You see, I think Ronan wants us to live. Maybe try something different or unexpected. But we have to be able to let go of what we cannot change. Otherwise, we'll be unable to move on. We can choose to make the most of the time that we have now. Live in a way that shows love, that builds people up, that encourages others. And I think that will bring honor to Ronan's life. We hold on to the good times that we had with him. Remember the smiles. Celebrate the moments, however brief they may have been, that we are able to share with him. And live out love to one another. And live with hope that I believe can only be found in God. You pray with me. And God, I pray that as we sit here today, that we remember the images of Ronan happy and smiling, remember the wonderful times, the good things that we had. God, and we find peace and comfort in that. I pray that you give us boldness to live our lives. From this moment forward, there's things we will never forget. There's things that will be hard to let go. But God, I pray for your help in this. We thank you that we could be here today and see a life lived, even though it was short. 
We know you love us. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.